Ah. The glass is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it really good. Some people chew and some folks smoke. Some people love and some folks don't. Some people smile and some folks frown. Some people round that'll gun you down. Goodbye, John. Six white holes is gonna take you home. Goodbye, John. Some preach wrong and some preach right <laughs> Some preach love and some preach fight It takes a lot of both to make the world go round Only takes one to gun you down Goodbye, Mark Six white holes is gonna take you home Goodbye, preacher Took you away before you sang your song. Some folks born with an urge to roam. Welcome, welcome to our town. Man's come here just to gun you down. Goodbye, Bob. Six white horses come to take you home. Goodbye, Bob. Sit, took you away for you sang your song. You guys are really tired, you know. I, if I were sitting out there, I would be throwing things at you. Uh, but you see, what, what you see is what you got. I'm basically, a comedy writer for television. You know, I've been, Johnny Cash show wasn't a comedy show, but if you knew Johnny Cash on it, from the inside, it was a comedy show. He was a very funny guy. I'm gonna tell you. I wrote for the Smothers Brothers for a while. Jonathan Winter show, Tonight Show, and uh, wrote a lot of funny stuff. And, uh, I'll tell you a story about how I got started writing comedy. It, it, through the 
through the Johnny Cash show. Flip Wilson was on there, and I was writing special material for him. And we wrote up this song about uh, about a smart pig. You know, M most people say you know pigs aren't. They say they're smarter than dogs. I don't know whether that's true or not. Uh, but when the thing advice that I learned is never try to teach a pig to sing. You know? Because all you do is aggravate the crap out of the pig and waste their time. So. But this other pig, it so happened these people were going out through the woods there and uh, the car went off the road into a pond and it was sinking and they had the kids and they were drowning and all of a sudden they felt something pull them out of the car and, 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 and pull them up on the bank, you know, and they looked around and thank God that they was alive and they looked around and they just saw this pig running up the hill and uh, they figured that pig was the one that saved their life. But one thing they noticed about the pig, he had a wooden leg, you know, and that, and that made it even more amazing. So they followed, followed him up to the farmhouse, knocked on the door, it was soaking wet, and you know, the guy come to the door, he said, yeah, he says, is that, he says, is that your pig? He said, yeah, that's my pig. That pig just saved our life. He jumped and pulled us out. He said, "Yeah, I know it's a smart pig." You know, I said, "Tell me about it. It's got a wooden leg." Yeah. He said, "What's that about?" The guy said, "When you get a pig that smart, you don't eat him all at once." <laughs> so much for that.